welcome to a knit in a 603 instructional video um, as you can see i have a couple of um, projects in my basket today but today what i'd like to um, work with you on is how to do a latvian braid as you can see at the bottom latvian braids are often worked into various color work patterns um, and sometimes just added as a point of interest in, in, a, in a plain pattern just by adding in that extra color and doing the braid with it um, just to spice it up. Um, as you can see here, I have um, two Latvian braids already going down here. I, I did um, two sets um, down here to have a double, to have a double braid going. <clears throat> I'm going to work through um, producing one one Latvian braid, which consists of three rows. The initial row in the Latvian braid is just getting it set up, and you do that by bringing your both of your yarns, your, your main color in this case, which is my dark color, and contrast color to the front of your work. You're basically going to be twisting this, so I recommend um, having your yarns together but having them a little bit of a distance away from you so that as you're adding twist into this you can kind of push it down out of the way and be able to get at your strands as you work. This will make sense as I get started. Initially there won't be any twisting because the first row is a simple knit one in main color and knit one in um, contrast colors, so I'm actually going to pull this yarn to the back, and I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So as I was saying, the setup round on the Latvian braid is to knit one in the main color, knit one in the contrast color. Generally, when I'm doing um, color work, I, I like to knit um, with both hands, um, with the main color in this case being the background color, I'll have it to left, and with the contrast color being my foreground or my um, popping color, I generally hold that to the right. Um, on this row, it doesn't matter, but that is how I generally sequence my strands. So I'm going to just go around here and I'm going to knit one and I'm going to purl one just like this. So whether you're throwing or whether you're continental and with both strands in the same hand or whether you're doing it as I am where you are holding one in one hand and one in the other all you're going to do is go around this round, round the, go around this round and knit one purl one momentarily I'm going to pause the video and finish the round so that I can come back to the beginning of my round, pull my two yarns forward, and begin the actual process of twisting the yarns in order to get the Latvian braid. Okay, here we go. So just continue this going around, and then once you have your knit one main color, knit one, contrast color, ready, come on back to me. So, <clears throat> while I was on break, um, I realized that I was supposed to swap out my needle for the smaller needle for this particular pattern before um, going forth with the knit one and knit one in the uh, main and contrast colors. But no matter, I've uh, switched out the needle and I'm going to um, go ahead and get started on the Latin, on the second round of the Latvian braid. I also advise that you just pull out, you know, a good amount of yarn for your, for your round in order to work it and just have it prepared. Don't have any tension on your on your um, working yarns. So the first round of the Latvian braid is to take both yarns and bring them to the front. Now again, it doesn't matter right and left hand here. Actually, you're going to just let them kind of hang down there. Okay. And the Latvian braid, um, you're always working the same color into the same color. So 
this main color is going to be worked with the main color and then the um, contrast color will be worked with the contrast color. For the Latvian braid, you are purling everything and it's being worked on the front side of your work. So the instructions are that you um, purl in the main color and then you bring the contrast color over the main color and then you purl with the contrast color and then do the same thing repeatedly around except the main color over the contrast color. So the key thing in this round is to remember that you're always bringing the yarn over the one that you just worked. So we'll start that and we'll say, okay, we're going to begin here. We're going to purl with the contrast color. We'll go ahead and let that drop down there for a second. There's our purl. Now we want to bring the contrast color over the main color and purl that one. And then we're going to just let that yarn drop down. Okay. So we've just purled two. See how the main, the contrast color is coming over the main color. Now we're going to purl with the main color right over the contrast color. My gauge is probably going to be off on this because I'm doing this away from my body. And so you do this repeatedly around, bring that back down again, pick up the contrast color, bring it right over that main color over it. Right? So you can see the braid starting to form the first side of your braid. It actually just appears to be a braid. It's not really technically braided, but it's the appearance of. Okay, so see how it's over and over. So again, as I'm doing this, this is adding twist into my yarn down here. Don't worry about that. Don't untwist it as it gets more as it gets difficult, because when you do the second round of your Latvian braid it will untwist of its own accord because you'll be going the opposite you'll be doing the opposite you'll be bringing the yarn under so see how it's going over now this again it's going to go over let's do that a few more times and then we'll just I'll pause again I'll finish up my round and we'll do the second round so this can be done by Kind of holding the two in your hand once you get acclimated to it and just kind of twisting them like this like just make sure you're twisting over see it's going over you're there again Make sure we pick that one up and it goes over and you'll see you'll see when this is in your hands how that twist is being added down below your hand and that's what you're going to want to you're going to feel like you want to untwist don't do it don't do it just keep going okay so one of the things that I did before I started this, again, before I picked it up and started again, was to make sure that my um, prior row was, there were no mistakes in that on the alternating of the main color and the contrast color. So remember, you're just purling this all the way around. And by lifting the yarn, the next yarn over the one that you've just worked and purling, you're creating this braid. Let's work just a few more. Okay. Over the contrast. And purl. So it's completely a purl round. Get my yarns there. And it goes over. Okay. So let me pause up again. And I'm not pulling these too tightly, but I am just making sure that I'm adjusting my gauge as I, you know, just making sure that these loops aren't just floppy on top of the needle just because of the way I'm holding this in my hand. It feels like the gauge feels a little looser. So I'm just making sure that's it. What you'll see happen here is this braid that we're forming here is hiding that knit, the two color knit underneath it. It'll effectively hide it so that you won't see it 
underneath, just like I, you can't really see it under this here. It is there. Okay, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to finish this around. Remember that round two is always over. I mean, meaning round two, which is the first twisting round, is always over the strand that you just worked. Okay, over. Round three is going to be under. But let's finish up round two of the Latvian braid sequencing. Whoops, in the wrong place there. So you can see that I just made a mistake here because I have contrast color in a main color and a main color in a contrast color. So just took those out. I'm going to start get that going again. Over. down, pick it up, and bring it over. Back on track. Contrast into contrast, main into main. It's always going over. And as I move along, I'm just going to push that energy that I'm building up down so that so you can see the twist gathering in my yarn below. It's not a ton yet, but as I get around this, it's really going to start creeping up the line, and it's going to make it hard for me to get in here. So if, as I go along, I push that down, then these will allow me to get my fingers between them to do my twisting, right? Okay, so let's pause. I'll finish this this round and come back on this on the third round of the Latvian Latvian braid. Alrighty, I'm back, and here I am. I'm at the beginning of my round here, or end of round, whichever way you want to look at it. It's a circle that never ends. So I'm just about to finish my first um, my my the second row of my Latvian sequencing. And it is the first twisting round, but row two. Remember row one was the knit one, main color, knit one, contrast color all the way around. And then row two creates this left leaning twist. Now row three is going to create a right leaning twist. To do that, at the end of the round, you leave your yarns in the, at the, uh, on the outside as they were. You'll see that you have all of that twist that you had gained up in your yarn there, like I promised, right? And you didn't untwist it because I told you don't do it. And now we're going to, the, the twist will come undone as we're placing the last round of our Latvian braid sequence. So we slip the first of the marker, we bring those, keep those yarns in the front, and now instead of going over, like we did going around this whole last round. Now we're going to work under the yarn before. Um, for this very first one, because this stitch is part of the last round, I'm actually going to go over just one last time with the main color and start my new round. Okay, so now what's going on with that. I think that's actually part of this. I'll fix that momentarily. But we're going to go over that. And I appear to have dropped my pearl here. So I'm just going to fix that. Excuse me. This won't be what yours looks like. Your pearl will be nicely in place and not missed. Putting that pearl back in. Okay, my apologies. Okay, 
So now we're working over. So I went, I'm sorry, now we're working under. So I've got my first stitch done. And I'm going to fold my tails out of the way here. And now at first it might feel a little fiddly because the yarns are all twisted. But basically now I'm going under, right? So I worked the first pearl of the main color. So the next contrast color is going to come under that yarn. We're on a main color, it comes under the contrast color. under. As you're doing this, it is actually taking the twist out of the yarn that's fall, fallen down there below behind this hand. And you can help that along as you're going by just doing something like that to get the yarns kind of straightened out so you can work with them a little easier. So again, it's under. And we're just purling, right? So, under. Make sure you don't get any double twisting or anything like that when you're doing that twist. Like, you know, don't twist this more than once around this like that. Just simply spread them apart and make sure it's coming under. You can use your thumb, you can use your finger. Again, once you get this going, it'll work out. It'll work more easily for you because I'm working underneath a table away from my body it's a little awkward for me but we're going to go under and I'm going to show you the results momentarily again twist so that this comes under don't worry about the yarn that's down at the bottom you should have Again, make sure you had plenty pulled out so that and pull out some more as you need to, but try not to have any tension going on on coming from the skeins of, of yarn. Just make sure they're it's loose so that you got enough to fiddle with right here in your hand. You don't need to be fighting with yarn. So I'm, I'm going to actually pull a little more out. Make sure I've got plenty to work with. Let my energy kind of come out of that down there as I'm untwisting it. And let's look at it. So we've got our braid forming there. You'll see the little pearl bump in between, but it's part of the braid and it's natural for how it looks. So you can see that between there, you can see it between there. So that's our Latvian braid. So we're just going to keep going around this. This is the last round of the um, the standard Latvian braid beginning with the left lean. Okay. If you wanted this to go, whoops, I just went over. And that will be noticeable. If you want to change the direction of a Latvian braid, which oftentimes you do, if you want like one cuff to go the opposite direction of the other cuff, or you know, just you want to put them in different directions, dueling directions on, on a hat like this. Like if I had wanted this to go in the opposite direction of this one, what I would do is I would begin with an under, I'd do it the opposite of what I've just done. So this one I started with the, the uh, round two being over and round three being under, um, I would do the opposite if I wanted to change this around. And I would go under on the first twisting round and over on the second twisting round. And then if you want to double up your braids, you can do that. You just start, do the next row again, the same, you know, just repeat the sequence of the um, two, of the two of the two twisting rounds. So if I wanted to do yet another braid on top of this one like I did at the bottom, I my next round, instead of coming under like I'm doing right now, 
would be to come over. Um, I would just start, like I said, start it over again, except I wouldn't have that first setup round to do. So I'd go immediately into the second round, which would be go over and then under. Or on the under round. Alrighty, I'm going to pause. I'm going to finish up my Latvian braid. And then I'll come back. I'll show you this hat with its braids in place. This is going to be a hat, by the way. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. It's actually the August hat by uh, uh, Into the Wood. The August hat from Woolen Yarns Year of Hats. And it is a pattern by Sarah Solomon called Into the Woods. So. So as you can see, our braid is well underway. It's very pretty. I did a double down here, as I was saying. I will likely, I haven't decided if I'm doing a double up here on my, on my project or not. Um, it's really kind of up to me, right? My project, my choice. So just one more time. We're going to make sure we go under. And then under. And you do that completely all the way around until the end. And I'll come back to you at the end of this round. All right, I'm back. I'm back and I'm at the end of this round. And I'm about to just place that last stitch, which was um, going under my prior thread yarn. And then I slip. This is the lap hand. I'm just going to bring the yarns to the back. Just so we get them out of the way. So that's where we're going to be the next round. I'll stretch that out. There is our Latvian braid. And you can see this went, when we twisted the first one, we went over and it went to the left. And on the second one, we twisted under and it's leaning, pointing to the right. So that you get this little V looking braid. So again, if I wanted to reverse the order on my next round, I would do exactly the opposite of what I um, what I did um, previously. But in this case, if I were going to put a second round, I would just follow that same order that I did, making the first one the first twist. I'd do a an over round, and then I would do an under round, and that would give me two braids, both pointing in the opposite direction. Um, have fun with this, you know, try, you know, what if I did go, you know, another round right here going um, under, what would happen? Well, I would get two lines, one going in the same direction, and then maybe I'd want to close it and go the opposite direction. You can do what you want, you know, you can play with the design. Um, I think due to the bulkiness of this right here, the depth of that right there, I think I am actually going to continue as the pattern says and just do the one Latvian braid here um, versus adding a second, a second braid. So if I were going out of my Latvian braids here and I was going into the new, the rest of the color work for the pattern, if there were more, I would go ahead and get my, my background color to the, to the left. And I would put my foreground, my contrast color, my pop color to the right. Um, and then I would continue working my color work. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was explained well enough for you. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me in the questions in the comments if you need to, to for any further explanation. And that is it. Thank you for joining me and happy braiding.